pay your respects or get dealt with But I ain't playing with a full deck Sort of a prodigy, MCs drop quietly Found wet, asbestos in they nose after the autopsy You don't get vexed cause your whore jocks me Copping please for detox, trying to sit rocks the raw copy Step to the master and peace guard, it's over B If on the instrumental I see the bitch in you Give me a second and I'll tear out your ovaries This is the code of the beat from the Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be a sample shopping episode. Of course, these are sponsored by my good friend Adriana over at Decan Shop. We're actually going to look at five fragrances today, all available at decanshop.com. If you're interested, you can use that coupon code MAX12. It's going to save you 12% off your entire order. I think you'll find a really good mix today of sort of esoteric niche um, designer fragrances and indie fragrances. So I think we have a really good lineup and I think uh, Decan Shop is a place where you can get all those sorts of fragrances. So please check them out. The prices just cannot be beat and everything we look at today is gonna to be available there. The coupon code MAX12 is gonna make that order even cheaper for you guys. So let's set it off with this week with one called Musk to Musk from the House of Montal. As I said, my buddy Rene Zayas influenced me to take a more serious look at this house, try to appreciate them more than I do. My feelings are well known. I own two Intense Cafe, Napa Oud, both very good fragrances. Would like to purchase Red Oud and Black Musk. This one was a 2010 release. No wise, we get musk, amber, nutmeg, oud, and woods. I've seen this one 100 ml online for as low as $82, so good deal if you're interested. And for me, the, guys, this reminds me so much of black musk. I get this musk with some amber, some spices. I think it's the nutmeg here. Um, there's woods in this. It's a beautiful musk fragrance. If you like musk, I would definitely look at this one and black musk because these Montals have tremendous projection, tremendous performance, and the fact that you can get an 80 ml or 100 ml for $82 is just great. I think black musk is darker. I think this one has a little bit more uh, light to it, or it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit. You know, it's a little bit brighter, uh, but it's still really nice. It's not fresh, but it's it's it's. Um, I think the the woods in this one and um, maybe the amber brighten it up more than black musk. It's definitely a quality musk fragrance, uh, and it's darker than some of your barber shoppy musks that I've championed in the past, like um, like the I think white musk by Body Shop, which is just too light, too fleeting. This this has more body to it. The next one we're going to look at is from the house of Giorgio Armani. This one is called Orange Alhambra. Now, this is from that Privé series, and we've looked at uh, quite a few from the Privé series on this show. Um, the only one that really moved me was Figuier Edon, and that was on my purchase list, but really thinking it over, guys, I have a couple of fig scents. One premium with Fico di Amalfi. I just don't think that I need to add that second. I did buy Blind by Amber Eccentrico from Armani Privé because the price was right and I really like that one. Uh, it's a great exaggerated free amber that I'll, I'll review down the line, uh, I'm sure. Now Armani dropped this one in 2008 in the lighter sort of series of these Privé scents, like along with Vetiver Babylon and Figuier Edon. They come in the clear glass bottles as opposed to the heavy metal ones that the darker fragrances come in. And the retail is lower as well. And these are on discounters. So you can grab 100 ml of this guy for like 110 bucks online. Note-wise, we get lemon, bitter orange, pettit grain, and bergamot at the top, rosemary, marjoram, and jasmine in the middle, patchouli, and oak moss in the base, guys. This is just a soapy, a good quality soapy citrus fragrance. Good quality citrus. I like the soapiness in this one. The oak moss base gives it some barbershop-y with the rosemary. You get that herbal sort of barbershop vibe. It's almost like an orange soapy uh, barbershop fragrance quality is good on this one not worth the money as far as i'm concerned if you're looking for that guys pick up orange fair uh by hermes which you can get for like 50 60 bucks on amazon 
it, it, that one isn't as herbal as this one. It's sort of just more straight citrus and um, and like musky, uh, woody thing. This one has definitely sort of a more fresh barbershop vibe to it, but I just don't think it's worth $110. I think when you get to the $100 range, there's just a litany of citrus fragrances that are out there. Um, and I just don't think you should pay $100, $100 for this one. It's, it's fleeting for me. It doesn't have great performance. It's just okay. Uh, next, let's go to the House of Smell Bent. You guys know I love this house. This is from their Frank and Smelly collection, which sometimes features seasonal fragrances. Sometimes it features mashups. And this is a mashup of two fragrances. One was called Incensed. One was called Short Fused. So we get a fragrance called Incensed Short Fused. I own Incense, so I'm excited to see how far this one strays and if it strays at all. And price-wise, you know, there's there's a lot of options within the, this house. You can get a 4ml for seven bucks, a travel spray. You can get a 50ml for 50 bucks. And note-wise, we get Incense, Cardamom, Pepper, Amber, Woods, and Resins. And it's a really nice, fragrance and a lot of ways i think it's better than incense incense is like a deep incense like i described incense if you watch my review as like you're in a church incense is burning and someone set up a stand of vanilla cupcakes in the back and you just sort of have a vanilla cupcake gourmandi thing very faint and you get mad incense this one is more less incense and more spice like you're gonna get that cardamom and that pepper in this one hardcore and the incense is in the background um it's really good you know i don't know that i go crazy for it if you're looking for a spiced incense fragrance it might be up your alley at 50 dollars. the quality on these i think is spectacular um and at 50 dollars, man that's that's just a great deal i just don't know that i i jump at it you might want to check it out though i think if you're looking for an incense fragrance and you don't have a huge budget to get like something by unum or something by amouage um then then maybe you want to look to smell bent maybe you, you want to pay some attention to this one next up guys we're going to go to the house of lacoste to look at live what really yes <laughs> um i know this isn't a house that's regularly been explored on this channel I own one style and play, which is eh. Uh, I haven't looked at anything else on this series at all, but uh, we're gonna look at live today. Pretty recent release from this house came out in 2014. Pretty simple note breakdown of limes, green note, watery notes, ugh, guyac woods, and licorice. I get nervous when I see um, watery notes. If you're looking for a bottle of this one, it's already gone down to about $25 online. Guys, it's 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 the cost. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the cost. Um, it's fresh. It's bright. It's fruity. I don't know what you want me to say. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you just want to spray a fragrance on and smell fresh and go to the U.S. Open and grab a twelve dollar beer and watch Red Roger Federer hit serves and sit there with the girl that you wish was Kate Upton but she looks like a cross-eyed Kate Upton and get Lacoste live. I don't really think it's that great but it's fresh it's nice I don't know where the licorice is to me it just smells like a, a fresh citrus fragrance. All right guys we're going to finish this one out with, with one from the house of Armoff. This one is called the Club Dana Wheat Intense for Women. We've looked at a couple from this house, the original Club de Nuit and Club and Blue Um, and both were major fails for me. Uh, as I said, there's a women's version and a men's version of this one. The men's version is supposed to smell like Aventus. The women's version is supposed to smell like Noir de Noir by Tom Ford, which we've also looked at on this series. Top notes, geranium, saffron, and rose, middle caraway, pepper, nutmeg, violet, base, amber, oud, vanilla, and patchouli. In the U.S., I don't think you can grab these retail, so you kind of have to go the eBay route, and at that point, these are pretty cheap at about $25 to $28 a bottle. And, yeah, guys, smells like fucking, uh, Nuit, no, no uh, or, um, is it Nuit, no Nuit, no Noir de Noir. Smells like Noir de Noir. Really natural, 
uh, dries down beautifully. I get some cocoa, some oud, some rose. This is this is a beautiful fragrance. If you like Noir de Noir and you just don't have the paper, this is the way to go. Uh, it's not a hundred percent match. I think that Tom Ford's still gonna get you on performance, but this performs really well. I rock this one all day, and I get some out ten hours later. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit more natural. I think it's going to project out a little bit more. But this is $25. Noir de Noir is $210, $300 for the 100ml. This is a, a, just a ridiculous alternative. If I loved Noir de Noir, if I didn't have Rouge Avignon, which I think is a, another great alternative, I'd probably buy this one. Um, but I think I could heartily recommend this one to you. So guys, if I'm ranking these, yeah, obviously uh, this one is number one. I think I'd go the Smell Bent number two. I think I'd go Montal number three. I think I'd go Orange Alhambra four, and Lacoste would be number five. Would I purchase any of these? Probably not. If I didn't have Rouge Avignon, our moth uh, would be a done deal. That's probably it. If I didn't have Black Musk on my radar, Montel Musk to Musk might be a, a done deal. So I think those two you should definitely look at. And maybe Smell Bent, the incense, the short fuse, you should look at as well. Those three I think are all possibly bottle worthy. Guys, next week we're going to finish up again this haul with five more. We'll start out with one from the house of Comptoir Superficique. We'll then go to the house of Perry Ellis. We'll then go to the house of Yves Saint Laurent. We'll then go to the house of La Ligue. And we'll finish next week with one from the house of Montal. Guys, thank you so much for watching these. Um, again, you can show your appreciation by going to Decan Shop using that coupon code MAX12. 12% off your entire order. Let me know if there's anything on DecanShop.com you'd like me to speak about or a review, obviously, on the show. And I'll see you um, later this week for more videos. Guys, you already know what it is. My name is Maximilian, and I must know. Thank you all so much. From the low key, scientist with the iron fist. Who acts strange? Got a monkey in my lap with a virus that attacks brains, but I'm immune to it. See, mine's polluted to the point.